a sixth straight win. Delano DeShields got a nice hand going back to Montreal for the first time. Top of the first. DeShields singles the center off Ken Hill. He later scored. The Dodgers went ahead three zip after the first. Bottom five, three one Dodgers. Mike Lansing, he replaced DeShields at second for the Spos. Singles to right. Sean Berry scores. Three two in favor now of the Dodgers. Omar Dahl came on the pitch. Rookie Cliff Floyd at the plate. Two on. Chopper to Dahl. He fields, spins, and throws to no one in particular. Ken Hill and Lansing come around to score, and the Expos go on for the win. The Expos looking better than the Canadiens with 19 hits on their way to their 11th win in the last 12. Ken Hill retired 20 of 21 during one. Reader trying to go 11 and 0. Corey Snyder playing at a six different position this season, most comfortable at the plate. A two run homer to give the Dodgers the lead. Then in the ninth, it's tied at four. That's Kevin Gross out of the bullpen with Marquise Grissom at third. Tim Spear delivering. Mitch Webster can't come up with it. Grissom scores easily. Expos have won 12 of 14. Kurt Reeder is still 10 and 0. He left with a groin strain in the fifth. Todd Laurel also left injured. The In the air, deep center field. Back goes Marquise Grissom to the wall. This one is caught against the wall by Grissom. Watch Grissom. Keeps his eyes on the ball, picks up the wall, then goes back to the ball, knows where he is, catches and turns because he's expecting to hit into the wall. With runners in scoring position, hitters at 165. one nothing Atlanta. No doubt about that. He's swinging. Base hit right field. Justice will be waived. They challenge one of the best arms in baseball. He is out at the plate. Go to high fly ball down that left field line. Alou on the run. That ball is up against the wall. Two run score. Billy Yard at second with a double. Curve hammered into deep center. There goes Grissom again. He looks up. That ball is gone. His second of the night. It's five to nothing. Yes. He gets the shutout, and the Braves lead goes to a game and a half in the National League East. Five nothing, the final. And our player of the game this evening, even though Greg Maddox fashioned the shutout, he had a lot of help from Fred McGriff, who is our holiday in player of the game. Tommy top of nine bases loaded two outs no score Lenny Webster the slow one towards third pedal and charges the throw not in time Larry Walker scores one nothing Expos going bottom of the ninth bottom of nine Jeff Fazzaro two outs looking to finish the Braves walks Dave Justice Joe Kerrigan the pitching coach keeps Fazzaro in to face Mark Lemke the 1 0 pitch up up and away gone. Lemke's second of the year. Braves win 2 to 1. Mark Lemke was 0 for 13 lifetime against Fasaro. Lemke said, It's the first time I've ever won a game with a home run in that dramatic a situation. Bolts in a battle of pitchers the Tigers gave away. He got strike one in the high heat against Cordero, then found the outside corner, and then downstairs. Sit down, Will. All right, Ken Hill, who the Tigers once traded for Mike Heath, fields his position beautifully. A nothing nothing tie in the third. He bare hands the belly yard chopper. He's out at first. The next batter is Deion Sanders. No fielding required. Have a seat. Seven innings, a three hit ball for Ken Hill. Top of the eighth, we're still scoreless. Cordero is on third, though. Randy Milligan, pinch inning, fly ball, left field. They're going to test Ryan Klesko's arm here. He's a first baseman. And in fact, they get a great throw. They're not going to get him. Well, they would have, but O'Brien couldn't hold on to the ball. one nothing Expos. Top of the eighth, the bad moment of the game. Floyd lines one into the dugout and connects on Greg Maddox's face. He would go to a local hospital for x-rays. They were negative. It was a deep bruise. It's one nothing Expos. Here's John Wetland. Here's his first save. Smoke, smoke, and smoke. Five of the six men he faced, he struck out. So the Expos were a game and a half back. Just as importantly, the medical report, Maddox, contusions of the left cheek, x-rays, and a CAT scan. They took negative. Unclear, though.
Pitch into the air to deep left field. Back goes Nick Reynolds. Back on the track. Looking up and it's out of here. Two-run homer, Larry Walker. And the Expos are back to within a run. It's four to three. Bottom of the six, tied at one. Moisey making some noise. Off of Saber Hagen, a solo shot. Fourth of the year, it's two to one. We go to the ninth. Still two one. Wetland in. Angelosi with two on. And Cangelosi down the line, off the bag. Ryan Thompson scores, it's 2-2. We go to extra innings in this one, top of the 10th. Lenny Webster and Wetland discuss the strategy. How do you pitch Orsalak? Not high, not fast. He turns it around, his fourth of the year, and the Mets rally again for another win, 3-2. Their whole promotional campaign this year is about heart. Well, two games in a row, they've won it in late innings Monday, an eighth inning home run. Hey, the cardiac kids have won four straight, six. That's not him, that's Pedro Martinez wondering if the bubble would burst for Reeder. 21 major league starts, 10 career wins, and a whole bunch of no decisions. Well, Reeder couldn't get anybody out in the first. Cards were up 3-0. We fast forward ahead to the bottom of the ninth. Expos down 8-6. Mike Perez on. Marquise Grissom the double. Cliff Floyd scores. Expos down a run. In comes lefty Rich Rodriguez, Larry Walker. They're not happy with him. They're happy with this. Jose Okendo couldn't knock it down. Runner scores from second. Walker goes to second. Key play because Lenny Webster up with a chance to win it. Does just that by knocking it over. Hitting Witten's head. Walker scores. The Expos rally to win, scoring four in the ninth. Wasting the cards. Season high, 16 hits and four home runs. John Wetland gets the win. He pitched a scoreless ninth. Would it be another tough day at the office? First inning, two out, Schilling, Grissom, inside. That's a walk. Larry Walker walks the same way. Jim Fergosi showing some concern. Then, after you walk people, you may have to pay for it. Moise Alou comes to the plate, bounces up the middle. Duncan gets there, the force at second. Safe! Bases are loaded. Darren Fletcher, 0 for 22, lifetime against Schilling, facing him at the right time, and Fletch singles to center and scores two. The walks come back to haunt, 2 nothing Spos. Dave Hollins came in owning Butch Henry. Four home runs and 12 at bats, make it five and 13. It is 2-1 Expos. Next time up, Butch bears down, and Hollins sits down. Turning point came, bottom of the six. 3-1 Spos, they're loaded. Dutch. Double Dutch. One, two, three, double play. Dalton 0 for 3, and the Spos win it 4-1. The story within the story, that Holland's career, I told you, 12 for 15 off Butch Henry. As for Schilling, Fergosi says his pitcher had a little bit of a tender elbow. It will be looked at further. Ball and two strikes to Abbott. Nice to see him continue his hitting ways. Out into center field. Grissom coming on. He's there. In play by Grissom. <laughs> this is fair. Inside the line. It is a double. Because he is batting eight, and the pitcher is it, folks. This will play to run. Tavares has his first and it's out over the shortstop Everett comes home here comes Magadan and he is going to be out but the Marlins get the lead three to two 
Everett scoring and Magadan just cut down. Bottom of the seventh, Mike Munoz on in relief. Walker, the subject of trade talks. In fact, there were talks that maybe Montreal would send him to the Cincinnati Reds before the Dion deal. He gets called out with the bases juiced. And then, bottom of the tenth, Larry Walker, still tied at three. This ball game's over. Expos win at 4-3 and 10. Larry Walker, still an Expo, as they beat the Rocks 4-3. Montreal has played in nine extra inning games this season. That is tops in baseball. Montreal has a three and six record when asked to put in for some overtime. Scott gets the win. Ruffin comes in and is saddled with the long. Larry Walker has just hit one a long ways to right, and this ball game is over. wearing number 12 second at bat to single the center he looks skyward says send more gold what about being a Bengal where well, they're looking into that possibility Kevin Mitchell man on man off his 13th the Expo still are up three to two I said three to two next batter Sanders not Dion Reggie and change the score back to back homers his seventh this Sanders once signed a letter of intent to play football at Arizona. The celebration on Memorial Day belonged to Mitchell in the seventh. The swing, the hit, and he takes it over, leaping Larry for his second of the game, 14th of the year. The Reds win 7-3 in Marge shot. You can put it on the ball, yes. Friday, Ron Gant's going to visit Cincy, although Jim Bowden isn't optimistic about signing him. There were four banners that welcomed Dion to Cincy, and a fifth that read, quote, we'll trade Dion and St. Bernard for pitcher, in parentheses, and Bowden for free. Seven Reds down 4-3. Newly acquired Dion up. It's the hot grounder. Cliff Floyd snags it, but Dion beats... The pitcher to first, Lenny Harris is on third. Then Hal Morris. The fly ball to right, Larry Walker grabs it. Harris is coming, he's not quick, but he's quick enough to score, so we go to the bottom of 13. Still tied, it's a Sanders, but this time of the Reggie variety. His second homer on the night, and the Reds are a winner. 5-4 to four in 13. John Roper ups his record to 3-0 and lifetime against the Rockies. He is 0-5 lifetime against everybody else in the world. Kevin Mitchell has now homered four times in his last Andiotic.